Hey everyone, welcome to In the Kitchen with Montromo. This is our first cooking segment, it is. expedition, clusterfuck, and we'll see how it rolls. Uh, my name is Jesse, this is Luke. G'day, g'day. What are we cooking today, Luke? Uh, we're doing some uh, buffalo wings, uh, but we're too lazy to crumb our own, but the ones we bought from the supermarket just aren't nice enough, so uh, what we do here is just uh, tart them up a bit. Knock it up a notch. Yeah, bam. Bam, the spice boys are straight in there. All right, what are we cooking with today, Luke? Uh, we brought, uh, do we say their name? We won't say their name. We've got some chicken wings from the supermarket. They're delicious. They're steggles. Yeah, you did say their name. That's my name. <laughs> um, the spicy Pringles that I could find, which today are extra kicking jalapeno cheese. Or jalapeno. Jalapeno, yeah, a bit of the, bit of an inside joke. Uh, <laughs> some Frank's Red Hot, delicious. Some garlic powder, you use fresh, but we're obviously lazy. Uh, lazy is okay. And some butter. Good old butter. The butter. So uh, turn that into a sauce. The Pringles we crush for an extra coating of deliciousness. And uh, let's do it. Let's wrap it up and put in the thing and do some stuff with it. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, so what goes in here? Uh, we go, for now, just to start, we'll just go half of that butter. Half that butter? Yeah. So this is 250 grams of butter, so half of that's 175 yeah. or something. With Maths, Montromo, maths, they yeah. don't go well together. So I'm going to do that. Obviously, wash my hands first to Australian hygiene standards. Yeah, McDonald's. McDonald's hygiene standards. So they've been in my pants for half an hour. How much of this stuff? Uh, I like it, all of it. All of it. So yeah. this is Frank's hot sauce. This is probably one of the nicer hot sauces on the market. It's not that hot, but it's got all the flavour. All, flavor. Flavor. all yeah. the flavours, which is kind of what you want, which is good. So that's that whole lot in there. Yeah, delicious. So, smells good. Good job, Frank. Smells good. Excellent. All right, the old garlic pader. The pader. Pader de garlic. We'll go, you know, tablespoon-ish, couple of teaspoons. Couple of teaspoons? A dessert spoon. Spoon. I piss the safety off. Yeah, because that's... that thing. Suckers. Safety's for losers. No, just be safe, people. Yeah. Be safe out there. So we have two of these suckers in there. Yeah, ish. Obviously, cooking's, cooking's not science. Or yeah. it is science, but it's not exact science. No, it's wing it. Just wing it. You come up with something better. Each and every you do time. do that next time. you love it. So, could use fresh garlic if you're you, fancy enough. You can and have, but, you know. Today? Today, why not? No. Um, or you could get the minced stuff from the supermarket as well. Yeah, you, know, you can also just buy chicken wings and crumb them yourself, but time. Yeah, it's a weekend. If you're going fancy, do the crumbing yourself and then do this trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. uh, it all works. Yeah. So this is going to take a little while for the uh, butter to melt and to all those things to sort of cruise together. Yeah. So uh, we'll poke this with a spoon a few times and we'll be right back. <laughs> Smells so good already. Fantastic. And we're back. And we're back. All right. Yeah. This looks yeah. like it's, uh, it's done well. Lovely. Sometimes Lovely. The, the butter and the sauce separate a little bit. You end up with... So you just got to keep on it. Just stir it a little bit. It's fine. Yeah. Again, it's it's a coating, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Nope. Piss these things out of the way. Yeah, the, Pringles. the cool thing is there's usually Pringles left over, so you can sort of smash them down as you go. That's it. That's it. Let's move these kind of things in there. Pour this in here. Oh, look at that. You can smell it. You can smell it. Look at that. Oh, fancy. Oh, that's a bad noise. <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> cool. All right. All right. Face. Fantastic. Let's get ourselves a baking tray. Uh, oven has been preheated to about 200. Um, and we're about to throw it in, so I'll turn it down just a tad to about 180. Let's do a 180 on it. Yeah, do a 180. Cool. Look now, Luke is a pro at this. No. Get yourself messy, buddy. Pros are, Pros are good. Yeah. So, oh, lovely. So the that. process is dip it the chicken. Dip the chicken. In the dippy deliciousness. Don't let it drip dry too much. And then just get it in there. Get it in the rub. Just rub those those chippies in there. Crunch it in. Get it all covered and coated. Voila. That's one chicken wing done. And the thing is, sometimes these Pringles ranges aren't always available, but there's usually yeah. always a hot one. Yeah, it's like, the one I used to to use hasn't been around for a couple of years. Yeah. So it's just that was just their hot and spicy one. They just did it one summer. It was great. I loved it, and they got rid of it. 
because they're assholes. <laughs> because but if glue. Pringles aren't your thing, you could quite easily use a corn chip of your likings. I've used uh, Red Rock Deli. Ooh. Yeah, the sweet. Because it's made with money. Yeah, yeah. No, I wait till it's on special. Oh, don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a shoplifter. No, don't shoplift, that's wrong. No. People work hard for their money. Don't steal things. You're doing a fantastic job of the crumbing. Well, you got to get in there and just have, get a bit dirty. Just enjoy life. Look at that. The oh, smell. God. The smell. It's so good. Excellent. How's the crumbing? Do we need some more crumb? We need to be crumbed up. Cool. La crumb. La crumb. And I'm just going to quickly build some more crumb. Beast mode. Activated. Crush it like your enemies, <laughs> Conan style. Yeah, that's it. Punch a camel. In the face. Don't hurt animals, that's not right. No. No okay. camels were harmed during the making of these buffalo wings. Just some buffaloes, apparently. In buffalo wings? I've got their name. From Buffalo? From uh, Buffalo Bill from Sons and Lands. The Great War of 1879, when wow. the buffaloes uh, stood up to their oppressive chicken overlords. Ah, and nice. uh, cut off their legs. Cut their legs. And then... Uh, let them live. And then, yeah. Mm. So, uh, ever since then, buffalo wings have been a thing. There I always said it was from Silence of the Lambs and putting the lotion on the skin. Uh. <laughs> or else it gets the hose again. Yeah. Fantastic. And then put the lotion in the fucking basket. Look at that. Crummy deliciousness. The nice thing about these wings is Generally, these pre-bought ones are already kind of cooked on the middle. Yeah. Um, they're not particularly raw, so the outside will get crispy and crunchy, and then you'll have this nice layer of like gooey, almost molten, bread crummy, hot yeah, the, saucy the Frank's joy. caramelizes a little bit. It's, yeah. It really uh, comes to its own. It comes into its own. Um, and then chicken, which is always good. And then bone, which probably shouldn't eat that bit, but... No, you can suck the purpose. meat off it. Yeah, break Some it. Some people are better marrow. at sucking meat off than others, but... Some. Good for them. <laughs> Not to judge. No, everyone's got their own skill sets. Yep. Look at that. Filthy. Takes rotten. A, that's amazing. Chicken. Here we go. If that wasn't a raw chicken ish product, I'd say lick your fingers. But um, <laughs> some more? Do you want to do these other two suckers while we're waiting? Yeah, why not? We'll yeah, learn. shuffle and the bus while I do a bit more crush cool destroying of these things. Oh, that's, that's fucked. But that's okay. That's pretty good. That's, that's it. the thing about cooking anything, you can kind of fuck up a little bit, and that sometimes makes it rustic and homemade like. Well, it's, it's all it's, just experimentation. This is actually right. my kitchen, so it is homemade. All right. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. All right. Get in there, you bastards. It's crushing. Do you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it's therapeutic. You can break things. Yeah. But, like, if you can do it and there's a good outcome to it, why not? not a bad thing. Why it's not? an adaptive behaviour strategy. And we definitely do not get rid of the leftover sauce or uh, chips that it, that comes that comes back. Okay, you can sprinkle it all on and do kinds of crazy shit with yeah. it. Yeah, right at the end. If your oven has a grill, chuck that on at the end when you chuck some of these extra bits on there and it really toasts it on there. Yeah, toasty. <whistles> Indeed. Fantastic. Right. Good job. All right. I'll back these in the oven. I'll go use the sink. 15, 20 minutes. Grab yourself a thing there. 15, 20 minutes or so, roughly. Um, keep an eye on them is probably the best thing to do. Yeah. Sometimes they can be a little bit burny um, because there is a lot of sweetness in the sauce. But let's keep your eye on it. I think a, bit a little bit burny is preferable. Child lock just fucked me, that's fine. <laughs> Excellent. All right, what are we going to do while we wait? Uh, I'm going to wash my hands and we'll oh, do a beer. beer. Set the candle, we'll just cross over. How good's that? So today we're going to draw a Hawker's IPA uh, because it's delicious and they're a fantastic show of beer. Excellent. Excellent, yes. Good work. Did Professional. I, did I... Uh, uh, give you a bit of a roasting because your phone went off. My, my phone might have gone off before, and now it's just gone off now, so that's fantastic. Professionals. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers we'll fun. see you in 15, 20 minutes with chicken supervision. But with power of editing, a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds. I might even show you how I did that with a knife, if you put the cards right. 
A beer? Yes, awesome. Hey guys, I'm going to show you a really quick way to open a beer with a fuck off shiny knife. You'll need a beer and a fuck off shiny knife. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Essentially, it's all about leverage and science and stuff, but to make it quick, pop the beer within your hand like this. You've done it before. I've done it before. Grass beer firmly. You kind of want your the beer to be a little bit underneath the skin. Place the knife up and then beer is opened. Luke is happy. <laughs> Thanks guys. Uh, yeah, they've been in 15, 20 minutes. And approximately one beer. Had a beer, yeah, you had a beer. Chilled out. You played a level in a video game or whatever. In life, so leveled up. Yeah, you just leveled up. Uh, we've come and checked. They dried out a little bit, so we put a little bit more sauce on them. Didn't film that, but you know what to do. Yeah, the gist of it. Yeah, it's fucking... The thing's about love and expression, not... Expression is Perfection and correction. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's withdraw them from the oven. Withdraw them from the oven. And toasty. And the smell. Smelling great. Check that out. Thanks, Luke. Well, well assisted. Yeah, so there's a few of the crumbs there have gone a darker brown, which is fantastic. They're cleaned up quite caramelly and crunchy. Almost like a like a honey joy sort of honey joy ish. ish esque, but savory and chicken and spicy. Delicious. Deliciousness. Better, uh, better than uh, honey joy. Let's plate these suckers up. <laughs> With our cutlass of love, which was a mistake. No no, it's working well. <laughs> It's a good bit. It's a good bit. <laughs> it's like the if it were the goodies. That'd be hilarious. So what we'll probably do is use some tongs in the close up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fine. Next video. Parent will be fantastic. Um, uh, we'll finish uh, plating these up for you with some tongs. And uh, go from there. It's delicious. Cool, we've uh, played it up like professional chef people on like a mastering of chef, master chief shows. Master chief, master chef, I'm not sure, one of the two. Master anyway, chief. Good games. Master Let's chief. have a little bit of a taste, shall we? Which one you, I'm gonna go this one, this one looks delicious. That's on top, that's the one to go for. Ooh, I'm gonna go for just... the fat friend of his. Now these are obviously a little bit messy to eat, so. Of course. Uh, they're good for in interlude or intermission in gaming. Um, or video watching. Or video watching. Uh, yeah, but let's dig in. Mm. Yeah, messy to eat, but very delicious. Delicious. Mm. Garlic. Hot sauce. <laughs> mess. Hot mess. Hot mess. Mm, fantastic. And you do get this nice crunch on the outside, an almost molten layer of deliciousness in the middle with the hot sauce sort of soaking through the bread coming. And then the chicken in the bottom, which is protein and good if you're lifting, I think. <laughs> do you lift, bro? Fantastic. Those are delicious. Look, give them a try. Um, add your own little twist to the recipe wherever you like. Yeah. And look, post it somewhere, let us know so we can share your cool twist on this recipe. Or, and steal it. Steal it, yeah. We want to see photos of this shit on Instagram with your name all over it. Exactly. That'd be the best. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, we'll put the recipe at the very end of the video so you guys can write it all down and do what you have to do there. Uh, we'll also have it on our website, www.montromo.com, um, and we'll share it on Facebook. Make sure you jump on over to those things, like us, love us, send us messages of... Cuddles. Cuddles, just cuddle us. I'd like to cuddle. Yeah. Mm. yeah I'd I'm a like cuddly it. guy. We're sweet. Fantastic. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. And I hope this was informative and delicious for you. I hope you give it a go and you, you like it. Yeah, cooking is awesome. It is. It's fun. And great way to make friends. With beer and cooking. Oh, beer. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. See you guys. See you later. Crumbs everywhere. <laughs> it's the best. All right. I'm eating that. <laughs>